Hello everyone. Um, so I wanted to show you guys how to do a quick garden that is really fast that you don't really need tools for. And if you have low energy, this is a really great way to do it. So some of you guys know, I don't really talk about this much. Um, I don't know, maybe, I don't know. I don't want people to think, I don't know. Maybe I'm ashamed of it. I don't really know. I, I don't really like to, I guess, put it out in there. But um, I do suffer from an autoimmune disorder. And so um, there are days where it's just hard to get up just to do anything. Um, achy body, just extremely tired and fatigued. It's one reason I'm really strict with my diet. As a lot of people get frustrated because I don't eat certain foods um, but certain foods make me really really sick and so gardening is one way that I like to I love to garden and gardening is also one way to help reduce the cost of food because when you do eat really when you try to eat I guess I should say really healthy and organically it can get kind of expensive and so um, when it comes to gardening I try to do as much as I can with the energy that I have. And some days I'm on top of the world and nothing affects me. And you wouldn't even know that I had any, like I suffer um, from autoimmune disorder. Other times you would probably think I was crazy. I mean, I, I think I think I thought I was crazy for a very, very long time. And my doctors did tests and it was just, um, I don't know. If any of you, if you suffer from an autoimmune disorder, you understand where I'm coming from. Um, but knowing that I have it helps me know, I guess, how to plan my life. And um, here recently, I've been suffering from it more. Um, it could be several things, and I don't want to really get into any of that, but... Um, it could be medication, it could be other things, like my body's really here recently having a really hard time producing iron, keeping iron in my body, um, and I'm really having a hard time keeping vitamin B and D, um, and some other and very, very important vitamins in my body. My body's just really not holding on to that. Anyways, I don't want to get into any of that. That's not what this is about. This is about gardening. So, as you guys can tell, I'm, pro I'm really, really tired and exhausted today. Um, but it's really important that I get my garden going. It's something I really enjoy. Like I love reading. I love gardening. I love traveling. Um, I love to do all of this with my children and my husband. So, um, it, yeah, gardening is really important. So right now it is the fall time. As you guys can see, it's so beautiful. So beautiful. Um, it's fall and I am in the area seven Bravo. So if you're new at gardening, that's basically the, the area where you're, um, like it goes off of your climate and exactly where you're at in, if you're in the U S exactly, um, how your area, um, does with certain, um, fruits and vegetables and gardening techniques. So I'm in the warmer area, not quite Florida warm, uh, where I can grow all year round. Um, but I'm not cold where it's, you know, lots of snow. So that that's really important why you need to know and how you're going to garden. Um, so I'm actually starting a little later than normal. Um, then uh, usually I would have my full garden done, you know, um, late September. Uh, but it's, this year has been a little rougher. And so it's just been a little bit slower for me to get things done. I have finished up a, um, a small part, so I'm about 25% done of the whole garden that I'm going to have done. And today I'm going to sh show you what to do to help to do a raised garden bed where you don't need tools really. Um, and I don't know if I would say it's cheap, it can be cheaper. Um, if especially if you have things already or if you have access to a truck I had to buy a lot of bags of soil and peat moss it would be a whole lot cheaper if I had a truck and I went to a place to get it but um, 
And I'm very, very thankful and very blessed. I did have a friend bring a truckload of compost and I'm so thankful for that. But, um, and that's actually, I'm gonna link their, their, uh, their YouTube video um, as well because they have a lot of wonderful uh, videos. Uh, and so he came and he, he brought me a, some moss, or I'm sorry, some um, mushroom compost. So I was really excited for that and I was able to get that garden done. This is going to be a bagged, not the best, but it's what I can do right now and I have the enough energy to complete it. That's important. So it can be done cheaper if you do not have access to a truck or if you're doing this in the city um, and you don't, and you just have a car, this is this is a really really great way to do it. You don't need tools, like I said. Um, I guess tools as far as and you don't need like hammer or nails. You don't need a saw or anything like that. So I'm gonna flip you around. I'm gonna go over exactly what I've done, and this is a. Uh, the technique that I um, am going to be using. And I have used a very similar technique to this in the past. Most of my gardening I have done pretty much the same way. Um, the only difference is this time um, I did not dig up the, we did not dig up the land. So it is no teal. And that is the, the so that's the difference this time. So all right, so the very first thing that we did um, is, um, so depending on how big you want your garden, that's going to be key. You're going to go to the lumber yard or to Lowe's or Home Depot or to wherever you buy your wood. Um, and you're going to get, um, this is two by six, so two inches this way, six this way and long ways I did 10. Now you can do eight or you can even do six. So wherever you decide how long you want it to be. So this total is almost 21 because I have a 10 foot here and a 10 foot here. But because we added the, the inches here it made it almost 21 or maybe a little over 21, I can't remember. So then you're gonna decide how wide you want your garden bed. So keep this in mind. You want to be able to sit here and reach over to um, weed and to take care of your um, the stuff in the middle. So I would suggest to do four, no three or four, no wider than five. So this is my, this is five here and I can get about right here without, you know, having any trouble, which is about middle. Uh, and I am five, four. So just keep that in mind, um, how long you're going to want it. So then if you don't have a saw or a way to cut this, you can either buy it exactly. So you would get another two inches by six inch and then however long. So you'd wanna do a three or four, no more than five inches along. You could have Home Depot or whoever you get your wood from to cut it in that particular size. So again, you do not need any tools here, all right? So that's really, really important. Now this, I'm so thankful for my, for, I call her my sister, uh, for my sister um, over, um, uh, Iron Homestead, Iron Arrow Homestead. So this is um, the like the concrete block here. You're gonna find this at the garden center. I buy, I bought my stuff at Lowe's because that's the closest store to me. Okay, not affiliated with Lowe's whatsoever, but just let you know that's where I bought mine at. <laughs> so I don't really know what this is called. It's like a little concrete area. It's got a hole in it, the middle, um, to put some uh, rebar through. All right, so this is stacked up two way, two times. One, two. I decided to do it two times because here I'm going to be able to get, you know, a good 10 inches at least um, of deep roots. So things like my onions and my garlic, anything with deep roots, all right? So I chose to go this route. You don't have to go two. 
you can go one. All right, you're going to stack it up. All right, all we did was, let, let me see if I can grab one here. You stack it. Oh, hold on. Prone. All right, hello everyone. Okay, so let's look at how we actually put this together. So after you have all of your wood and you have it set up, go ahead and lay it out to see, make sure everything works and fits. And then you're going to lay down your like bricks here. I don't really know what they're called. I'm gonna call them a brick. So you lay the brick here, you put the wood in, all right, wood in here. You're gonna frame it in, all right? Now at this point, if you were just gonna use one, you'd go ahead and put your rebar in like that. So um, like I said, we're doing too high. So then we would stack it up like that. And you're just going to put in your rebar. Now you might have to use a hammer, um, like a sledgehammer thing. If you're wet, if your grass is wet, you could just use your boot or something to kind of push it in. So now it's framed off. Then what you're going to do after it's nice and framed off is without having to till up the garden or to you know take the grass off is we lay down cardboard. See? Um, lay down the cardboard. A helpful hint is that if you get the cardboard and you actually place it underneath here, that would be really, really good. Um, and then you're just going to layer your nutrients or your soils. So I did peat moss first. I'm going to do some topsoil and some compost and kind of mix it in and then just spread it around. 